It's 11 trivia questions on quotes from the hit sitcom, The Office. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for tuning into the show, whether it's with your ears or your eyes or both. We are on YouTube every single day as of January 2020, so you can subscribe over on YouTube.com slash Trivia with Buds to never miss an episode if you want to watch the videos. And if you have a smart TV, you can go to the YouTube app and just pull them up and watch them with your friends, your family, whoever's over at your house, and you guys could do like five episodes in a row, and it would be like you went out and played a trivia night. You could play through all the questions that I ask, you could write them all down, and then you can go through the answers and uh, award points as you see fit to who got the answers correct. So this show comes out every day but does double as an extra dose of trivia for your daily and weekly trivia night routines. Plus, I have a lot of people who listen to the show and watch the show, and they say it helps them at Trivia Nights because they learned like a weird fact from some weird episode we did on Back to the Future or shopping malls or advertising slogans and stuff like that. So uh, however you consume the show, it's up to you. And that was one of my goals a long time ago when I started a podcast. I'm like, I could just be another... Uh, comedian, which is in quotes because I don't do a lot of stand-up anymore, but I'm like, I could be another comedian that just talks and tries to make stuff funny with uh, comedian friends of mine, or I could try and uh, make this like a, like a digital business card for what I do. Um, and that's the, the route I took to try and get people uh, interested about watching something or listening to something. So uh, there's a lot of trivia fans out there who uh, write to me and they say, hey, this is uh, a really cool thing. I like that you do it every day. And those kinds of emails and messages keep me wanting to do it every day. So thank you so much for those. Thank you so much for the iTunes reviews. A lot of five-star reviews as of late. A lot of families listening to the show. I've been marking the shows on Libsyn as clean because I haven't sworn in a while, (laughs) as far as I can remember. Maybe a damn here and there. Uh, but usually it's pretty good for uh, families to listen to, you know, uh, if you want to do some trivia, especially the Disney-type episodes and things like that. All right. Today's episode is all about The Office. If you love The Office, this episode might be for you. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can see this beautiful garden setting behind me. This is not my own backyard. This is my uh, Marmy and Papa's backyard in uh, South Fontana, California. My uh, wife grew up here helping make this backyard what it is today, doing little gardening and things with her grandma and grandpa. And I am fortunate enough to be over here recording in a beautiful setting. And I'm actually taping this on Super Bowl Sunday. And if you listen to me or you know anything about me, you know I'm probably not watching the Super Bowl. I literally set up everything to record as soon as the Super Bowl came on. (laughs) Because I was like, okay, you guys will be busy. And uh, I visited and now I'm back out here. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do some office trivia. It's going to be a ton of fun, but I do want to give a shout out to one of my newest patrons. Her name's Sabrina from Auburn, California. She plays some of my trivia nights at Lordsburg Tap House in Laverne, California, when she's down antiquing and things. And uh, she wanted one of my new enamel pins that I posted on social media. And I said, hey, if you sign up for Patreon for $5 or more, I will uh, get you one of those pins. And she did. So welcome, Sabrina. Remember, whenever you sign up, I always send out a bunch of goodies right off the bat, uh, like a signed Sharknado picture, some stickers of logos of different things, and uh, these brand new pins. So if you are uh, a longtime listener or a brand new listener and you like enamel pins for your uh, you know, visor or your uh, denim jacket, or your hat, or what have you, uh, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and join for any dollar amount. I'll send you a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, Another quick thing, I finished a Fear Street novel in one day. I don't know if you guys have been listening to me talk about reading a lot for 2020, but I've already read, I think, four books, and I got four more in the works for February. So I'm trying to read a bunch this year. And uh, I started a (laughs) show. We have one of those little lending libraries in our neighborhood where people have like a library on their front lawn. And I went in there, and it was like College Weekend, a Fear Street novel by R.L. Stein. And I was like, oh, I got to take this. So I haven't read one of those since I was in like sixth, seventh, eighth grade. And I read the whole thing in a day. And it is like maybe half a lifetime movie worth of information coming at you. So it's really not a huge commitment. Uh, It was pretty bad. A lot worse than I remember. Uh, It was still readable, though. I still wanted to see what happened at the end. But it just ends very abruptly. And they're like, that guy killed someone. And it's like, 
Fear Street, you know? Uh, but yeah, it was called College Weekend, and this girl does not have a very good weekend away at college. So if you want to read that, check it out. Uh, my wife and I are uh, battling because she says that should not count in one of your books. We're trying to each read one book a month. So I'm like, hey, that's two books for me She's uh, for January. Uh, and she's like, no, it's not. That's not for you. That doesn't count. That's a kid's book. And I'm like, uh, if you read a Harry Potter book, that would count. She's like, that's like a real book. I'm like, okay. So we're arguing over whether Fear Street is a real book or not. But she got this book at the library that was like a diary, and there's only like 10 words on each page and it's like 100 pages so i'm like you're gonna be done with that in 20 minutes uh that shouldn't count either and so we've been battling if you think fear street should count as me reading a real book and you want to be on team buds let me know so i can throw that fact in her face all right it's time for some office quotes i am going to give you the quote and you tell me who said it you're gonna have some fun if you like that show here we go All right, here we go, guys. This is question number one for Office Quotes. I'll read you the quote, and you have to tell me who said it. I will give you the hint that none of the names from the show are used more than once. So you're not going to hear a bunch of different quotes from Dwight. You may hear one quote from Dwight or none at all. Would I do that? Maybe, but maybe not. Here's question number one. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Question number one, who said that on The Office? Sometimes I'll start a sentence and don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Number one. Question number two, if I don't have some cake soon, I might die. If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. Number two. Number three, for my New Year's resolution, I gave up drinking during the week. Number three, for my New Year's resolution, I gave up drinking during the week. I gave up drinking for my New Year's resolution, but it's February, so here we go. Margarita. Not a huge fan of margaritas myself, but that's what they had here at Grandma's. Number four, get a friend loser. That's the whole quote. Get a friend loser. Uh, Number four, get a friend loser. Who said that on The Office? Number four. Number five, what is so stupid about wanting to name a baby Usher? What is so stupid about wanting to name a baby Usher? Number five. Question number six, there's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? There's a poignant quote from The Office. Number six, there's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? Number seven, this is a documentary. I thought we were like specimens in a human zoo. This is a documentary. I thought we were like specimens in a human zoo. Who said that on The Office number seven? Question number eight. I haven't proposed to anyone in years. Number eight. I haven't proposed to anyone in years. Question number nine. Michael is leaving, and apparently they already hired a new manager, and we're meeting him today. It's a lot to process paperwork-wise. Who would have said that? Number nine, it's a lot to process paperwork-wise. Number 10, Holly is ruining Michael's life. He thinks she's so special and she's so not. Her personality is like a three. Number 10, who said that? Holly's ruining Michael's life. He thinks she's so special and she's so not. Her personality is like a three. And number 11, for two points, how many pranks did Jim pull on Dwight in the whole series? Now, this is one you just have to kind of guesstimate. I had the person who uh, guessed the closest without going over got two points at my live trivia nights. But just take an educated guess. For two points, how many pranks do you think Jim pulled on Dwight in the entire series? I did get the number from an Office Wikia fan page that counted up every prank. So I think it's pretty accurate. Those are all your questions for Office Quotes. We'll be right back in just a second with the 11 answers we're back with the answers to office quote trivia let's see if you got these right who said what on the office number one sometimes i'll start a sentence and i don't even know where it's going i just hope i find it along the way i almost couldn't finish that sentence it was uh, michael michael scott right off the bat number one michael number two if i don't have some cake soon i might die was stanley stanley loves cake and pretzel day Number three, for my New Year's resolution, I gave up drinking during the week. That was Meredith, of course, Meredith, who was just on Dancing with the Stars not that long ago. Number four, get a friend loser, was Dwight. 
Dwight says, get a friend, loser. I just got the Dwight CPR dummy mask where he cuts off the face and wears it like Silence of the Lambs. They made a Funko Pop of that. You can only get it at FYE, that store at the mall. And uh, I pre-ordered one, and I picked it up like a month and a half late. But I did get it earlier today, and I'll post it over on the Discord app chat if you want to see what it looks like. Go try and find it. Number five, what is so stupid about wanting to be named a baby usher? That is Kelly Kapoor wants to name her baby with, I think, Ryan. Uh, she wants to name that baby Usher. Number six, there's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? I think that's the last quote of the entire series from Pam, and they zoom in on the picture of the office building that she painted on the outside. Number seven, this is the doc- uh, This is a documentary. I thought we were like specimens in a human zoo. That's Kevin. Kevin from The Office. Number eight, I haven't proposed to anyone in years. Andy Bernard, who uh, proposes to a bunch of people on the show. Andy. Number nine, Michael is leaving, and apparently we've got a lot to process paperwork-wise. That was Oscar. Oscar always looking at the paperwork. Number ten, Holly's ruining Michael's life. He thinks she's so special, and she's so not. Her personality is like a three. That's Aaron on The Office at the front desk. Aaron. And number 11, for two points, how many pranks did Jim pull on Dwight in the entire series? According to the Wikia page for Office, it is 114 pranks. Hopefully you were close to nailing that number. That's what she said. Uh, We got one more question for you guys. Thanks for playing along. This is the question of the day. And this is brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. If you need anything printed, like a t-shirt or a koozie or a banner or a tablecloth cover, anything like that, go to fmdesignsinc.com. Tell them Buds sent you and you heard about it on the podcast. And they'll hook you up with some kind of deal, I'm guessing. Here's your question. What does the Q in Q-tip stand for? Send me the answer to that question on Twitter at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Bon Jovi, the third album band who had the album Slippery When Wet. And your trivia team name of the day is Kill Bill O'Reilly. Kill Bill O'Reilly. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks for listening, uh, telling a friend about the show, spreading the word, sharing a link, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. If you leave an iTunes review, make sure you email me and let me know that you did so I can send you a bunch of cool stuff in the mail. We'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. (music) 